This is Channel 2 News, coverage you can count on. Well, the message is it's time to do things different. We no longer can do things business as usual. The head of the Economic Development Authority of Western Nevada says the sky is falling on the local housing market. Money Watch tops Channel 2 News at 530. Just two years ago, the head of EDON said that thousands of jobs were coming and we would need thousands of housing units to keep up. Good evening, I'm Landon Miller. And I'm Kristen Remington. Thanks for keeping it here. Well, now he says we are way behind. Hmm. Zach Mooney spoke with him as well as a developer who agrees that the demand is there, but questions for how long? We need to really accelerate our housing programs be more friendly on the government side to advancing housing permits and getting projects approved and really look at infill more aggressively than ever. That would lead to more new houses, apartments and condos in northern Nevada, something the president of Edon says we desperately need. The demand for housing is so great that we really need to move that to the top of the list. And the need is nothing new. Kazmierski told us two years ago the region needed to add at least 5,000 new houses each year. Housing, clearly a concern. Uh, we don't have enough housing. We... All right, take a look at these numbers. In 2015, Edon announced that 50,000 new jobs would be coming to the area and that we would need to add 30,000 to 40,000 new housing units just to meet the demand. Now, since then, we've added 20,000 new jobs, but just 4,000 new housing units. Now, according to Edon, that number should be 13,000 housing units just to stay on pace. If we don't address the housing need, we won't need all these other projects that are taking up time going through the process. We will be doing very well if we can hit 2,000 this year. To increase over 10% in one year, it's a big number. Developer Perry DiLoretto says demand isn't enough to take the risk on mass production. He's unsure of how long that demand will last and how outside influences like federal interest rates and a local labor shortage could impact the market. And then there's the slow planning process. What we have to go through to get a, a, a subdivision approved, I believe, is, is necessary. Well, we have something called zoning, and we also have to consider uh, the, the capacity of our infrastructure, right? So there, there are certain steps that need to be taken to make sure that we can handle the growth. You know, it's too fast, faster than maybe somebody could accommodate. Well, maybe, but it's time to adjust what we're doing. Covering Money Watch, Zach Mooney, Channel 2 News. As supply grows, the Truckee Meadows Planning Agency has a plan to keep housing affordable, and we have a link to that at KTVN.com. Just click on the blue News Links button.